All right, all right, all right, all right. Back at it again with another video. This time, we're gonna be installing an oil catch can. Got this from Damon Motorsports, and this is gonna be on the 2012 Mazda Speed 3. Cool, so we're gonna get started. First things first, we're gonna be taking off the battery. It's the negative side of the battery here. Um, we're gonna be working next to the alternator, so that's just a nice, good little safety precaution. You know, we, we always like to be safe around here. So, I'll uh, disconnect this and um, We'll uh, get underneath the car. That's another thing. Uh, car's gonna be jacked up. Have enough room to get underneath it. And we'll continue with the next next step. This is gonna be the 10 millimeter here. start getting underneath. Now that we're down here, we're going to use 10 millimeter and take off these bolts here. There's going to be three of them. One here and here and then the other side. We're also going to want to take these guys down too. Basically this whole thing is going to come out and then you have a uh, little clip here you're going to use a Phillips, Phillips uh, I'm sorry, flathead screwdriver on there. And this whole thing is going to come back down. Now the way I have it, um, there's one time where I ran over a deer so on the other side my shroud is actually messed up and uh, I used zip ties and a little bit of drift stitching to uh, hold it up on the back side there. Um, so I'm going to keep that in there and I'm just going to pull this down, but it might be easier for you to just take this whole thing uh, off if you can. Okay. So the other tray is all taken out. Um, now, what you want to do this is where um, your oil filter is, just so you know, you have a reference of where we are. Basically, we're going to be looking up here. And we want this hose right here. This hose right here, right there. I'll try to put some arrow or something to it. That's the hose that we want. Actually, let's get angle. This hose right here. Let's connect it here next to the intake, and then back here on the PCV valve. Now, something I learned is. Um, the whole, this whole black thing is considered the PCV valve here, and it's connected to a plastic, um, a plastic member. So you want to be careful taking it off. You don't want it to break. And there's two hose clamps there, and by the recommendation of Damon Motorsports. I actually went to Harbor Freight and I bought these huge 15 inch pliers, um, locking pliers, which I'll be able to grab um, grab the hose clamps a lot easier and slide them off um, in that tight space. Alright. Okay. So now I got that done. Uh, 
guy out. That hose, it was connected here, uh, right there. That's in the intake manifold, and then uh, the green, green hose right here. All right, so we're gonna do the next step. Get the oil can in here, oil catch can in here, and um, route all the all the hoses. Before we get any further, I want to get the catch can set up. We're gonna take two of the 10 millimeter bolts and the bracket here, and we're gonna place it on the back like so. We'll just tighten it. Tight like a tiger. From our diagram, you see the red line is uh, going to go to the PCV valve, that green part, um, and that's that's just going to be a regular hose. So this is the one that we got with the kit, and we're actually going to be using the um, little hose clamps that we got off this piece from before. And we're gonna put one here. And then we're gonna put one on this hose with the check valve. This one connects to the manifold. Has the the blue hose right there. So that's gonna go to the metal part. And again, we're gonna take one of these clamps here and put it right there. And then for the rest of it, we use the clamps that were provided in the kit. All right, so I'll put these and then we'll go to the next, uh, next step here. Okay, the hoses are attached. The one with the check valve was attached to the intake manifold here. And then the other one without, with just the hose was attached to the uh, PCV valve. It's up there, a little hard to see. They were clamped, now it's time to actually connect them I routed the hoses up and over uh, right here and the catch can will be mounted uh, right there but something to note um, when connecting the hoses uh, to the actual catch can itself Make sure that the top hose is going to be connected to the check valve. So the top part here has the hose of the check valve, the bottom part has the the PCV valve, or that little green, the little green um, hose there. So I think I'm first going to connect this here. Um, before I attach it to the car. Um, put a little bit of oil inside the hose to make it a little bit easier. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here is the system. All done. Here are my lines that are going up there. Basically just ran them. It was actually a pretty pretty simple install. Um, and then here is the catch can itself. Just had that bolted to uh, do this red part up here. Um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that comes with it. And the instructions are pretty pretty simple. Just bolt it up there. So yeah, that is it. I'm gonna. Put everything back together. First of all, I'm actually gonna crank over the engine and uh, let it run for a little bit. The Damon Motorsport guide says to uh, listen for any uh, hisses, for any leaks. So I'm just gonna let her run and see if there's any issues. And then also. There's this neat little barb. Here it is, 
found it. So, from the instructions, um, once you put this barb in, so that kind of sticks, should stick a little bit underneath the vehicle. And uh, what you should do, if you want to keep that on there, you want to cut, drill a uh, small hole inside of your bottom pan there and your skid plate and then that will stick out just a little bit now my only fear is that I mean I've bottomed out a couple times on some pretty nasty roads my fear is that if I bottom out with this thing on that it will break but this is plastic and if this can gets hit um, it will swivel so I don't think it should be that big of a deal. It's not gonna cause any tremendous damage. So that's about it. Okay, so test drive one all right. Purrs like a purrs like a kitten. I uh, just want to say thanks for stopping by in the garage, and uh, see you next time. Bye.